Hey guys, Robbie Hudson here. Last week had a uh, friend of mine call me, said, hey Robbie, uh, me and my wife's getting a divorce. Not gonna make it. Can't get along. Um, you know, and this this video is not directed towards him or her or any, any person in particular. Cause I mean, right now I know five or six couples are just right in the middle of it, right in the middle of divorce. Um, you know, there's, there's different reasons for that. You know, the Bible lists them. I've been divorced twice. So probably, I'm probably the last person who would expect here, make a video about a divorce. But, uh, you know, Summer and I, we've been involved in divorce care ministry for seven or eight years. We've probably seen a hundred different people um, that have been through a divorce, going through divorce. And, you know, I think sometimes our, in our world, our culture, just the way things are, you know, we just, man, I'm trying, I'm really, I'm not trying to beat up on nobody. I promise you, I'm not, I'm not, this is not me beating you up. This is just, this is just me stating the fact that, you know, God hates divorce. He hates it. He literally hates divorce because it destroys families and, and, you know, it just does you know i've seen it firsthand i've seen the, the ram i've seen how it, you think it's going to play out and i've seen how it plays out and i and i I'm just you know hey i get it you know if adultery abandonment abuse you got those biblical reasons you know they, nobody can stop you but I, i'm just i'm just saying I, i've been there i've done that i've seen the t-shirt i got it all and if there's any possible way, I mean, if there's just any counseling, any any way to preserve the heritage of your marriage, of your of that tree line of of your, I mean, my son, my namesake, R.J. I saw him on Thanksgiving, and I saw him 15 minutes on Christmas. That's my namesake. That's my son. Um, and. I hadn't seen them since. You know, we had COVID, so we've been battling that, of course, but I didn't want to come around for that. But I'm just saying there's a there's this fantasy world where you think, oh, it's just gonna be the same and and oh we're they're gonna love their parents both the same. There's not gonna be any hard feelings and it's just as easy for uh, you know, for them. <laughs> it's I mean, just turn around and I'll punch them in the face. I mean, because that's what you're doing. I mean, you know, you're you're saying that you know what whatever you're going through right now is more important than their future so i mean you know I, I know that's harsh to say you know and i was selfish you know my, i'll tell you a story um you know i've been divorced twice i've been there like i say um my first wife was i was kayla's mother we were married for about a year and i left and you know kayla has no recollection of, of me being an ever married to her mother no recollection none when i was going through my second divorce she was about 12 years old um maybe 13 and the first thing she did to when 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 i was going through that process um we were going somewhere out to dinner or something and she she just she came up to me and she said does this mean that you and mama are getting back together and it, I'd never even considered like how a kid sees divorce and how a kid just hungers to see their parents together. And, and in that moment, I mean, it, it double broke my heart. And you know, I got saved soon after that. Um, I started reading the Bible and studying all these things and just seeing how, what God says about it all. And, and like I say, I'm not trying to make this video to beat up on anybody or, or to to, to to knock you down because i mean they're you know hey <laughs> david murdered somebody and he's a man after god's own heart i mean there's repentance there's there's seeking after the lord and there's making things right there's looking yourself in the mirror and and getting accountable for your part of whatever you're going through i'm not saying that i'm just saying i implore anybody that's watching this video that's ever been divorced or going through divorce or thinking about going through divorce please count the costs Please just, just, just ask yourself: Is this what I really want? Is, and you know, is is it me? You know, that's one thing I figured out after all this failure is that, you know, maybe maybe it's not them, <laughs> maybe it's me, maybe maybe I'm the one that, that that's the cause of all this this heartache and pain and trouble. 
you know, maybe I need to straighten up my 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 life a little bit. So you know, it, there's just no happiness in this world. There's there's no leaving this person, finding that person. You, it's just you're gonna be the same. It's, it's you'll get down to the same thing, and you're gonna be in the same issues, and you're gonna be the same broken person, looking for a fix. And and I'm just I'm just imploring you. I mean, I know you know this sounds like I say it sounds harsh, and it sounds hypocritical probably coming from a guy that's been divorced twice. But I'm telling you, if there's any way possible, save your family. Because God hates it. He hates divorce. There's just no way around it. And, you know, I hate to be like this today. And I hate to, I mean, I used to try to encourage and encourage people. But I'm just encouraging you today to stay. If there's any way possible. God bless you.